What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com. You're the free pick in the Washington Nationals versus Miami Marlins. Major League Baseball matchup going down Saturday, June 15th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam season pass. This is for those bettors that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. What it's going to get you access to is the waiting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and nerfies and my first five plays that have been absolute money, as well as plays that you know I release throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup changes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in and that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with, Call 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Washington Nationals and the Miami Marlins. It's a lefty-lefty matchup here. You've got DJ Hurz listed as the starter for the Washington Nationals. And the Miami Marlins sending out Trevor Rogers in this one. And Rogers had a nice bounce-back start last time out. Five innings, a one-run ball, gave him just two hits against the Cleveland Guardians. A tough lineup to face if you're a left-handed pitcher. But he did give up a home run for the third straight start and fifth in his last seven. And, uh, you know, Rodgers has had some inconsistent starts. He's had a good start followed by a bad start, good and bad. It's been like that for his last six outings, but, you know, he's coming off a good start. So maybe you would say, oh, well, maybe that's that uh, suggests that he could be, you know, due to get roughed up a little bit here. But problem for the Nationals, that you look at their numbers as of late, basically in the month of June so far against left-handed pitching, the numbers aren't really anything to write home about. Actually, they're, they're very, they're not very good. I mean, strikeout percentage of 27.3% is third highest in baseball against left-handed pitching you know the batting average is third worst the team ops is second worst in, in the league the isolated power numbers are third worst so they're really not doing much against left-handed pitching right now and like i said i'm really just not excited to back them in any way shape or form here from the you know from the washington nationals and this isn't a great matchup here i don't think they're going to have a ton of success against trevor rogers so maybe rogers can build on that uh, that solid outing against cleveland on the other side, though, you got the Miami Marlins, who have been one of the least effective teams against left-handed pitching this entire season. I mean, if you look at these two teams' numbers against lefties in the last 10 games, I mean, Miami, like I said, really hasn't been doing all that much. I mean, if they've hit 223 against lefties this entire season, and they are hitting slightly better in the last 10 games, but you know, still averaging just 2.2 runs per nine innings, and run support has been an issue. If you follow me here at Pick Dogs, you follow my videos, Talking about the Miami Marlins, you know what I think about the Miami Marlins. They'd be their starting pitchers would be a lot more attractive if the, if the offense would just provide run support. Happened to Sandy Alcantara the last couple of years. It's happened with a bunch of their starters this season. And Miami in their last ten entering Friday's action have only scored three runs or less in seven of their last ten games. So it's just it's hard to think that we're going to see runs here, even against a guy like DJ Hurts, who did have a better start last time out against a decent Atlanta Braves lineup, four and a third innings of two run ball. Gave up just four hits. So I think Hers can have a decent enough outing here. I think Rodgers can have a solid start. How we get to a total eight and a half here, I have no idea. To me, this feels like a three to two kind of game, whichever way you have it going. So I'm going to go with the under eight and a half between the Nationals and the Marlins, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.